Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. It's currently part 18 for my Let's Play, and it is the 5th of December 2018 as I am recording this. Now this is the first time that I have taken on the Pyramid, which is the final level section for level 6. It is apparently where Ganondorf is currently located. We've been hearing since section 1 of level 6 that Ganondorf is at the Pyramid or something like that. So I would assume that we are going to fight him as a boss, either in his human form or in his beast Ganon form. I don't know how that's going to turn out yet, but we will probably find out. If we do end up fighting Ganon as the final boss here, it might actually be the most difficult final boss we've fought so far. Not saying that it's going to be super hard, but it'll probably be a step up in difficulty when compared to the other bosses anyway, so <clears throat> we'll see how things go. As you can see, we're getting that um, <coughs> visual distortion of the image trying to indicate that it's very hot, but anyway. We will enter the pyramid and see what lies within. Got some force gems and a heart to start off with. I don't know why I always start with four hearts, but one of them is empty. I don't know what the deal with that is. There must be some sort of purpose for that, but I really have no idea. Anyway, we'll pull that. Most difficult puzzle in the game so far. <laughs> no, not really. Got some Gibdos here. Take a little bit of hits, these guys. Strong attacks are useful. Oh, once again, Force Gem at the top, Heart at the bottom. See how much that uh, reoccurs as I go through this level. Could just be luck, though. We'll see if that happens again. Force Gem, Heart. I mean, maybe it's always been this way, but I'm only now noticing this. It's a bit of a strange pattern. Anyway. Oh. Well, which one should we pull? I would guess that... It'll be this one. Okay, so we get a bunch of ropes in that room for pulling that. I mean, I was thinking that it would be this one, but I decided to stay one step ahead of the game and think, well, the game probably assumes that we would assume that it would be this one, so I'll go and pull this one instead. But no, of course, it's actually the obvious one, but that's beside the point. Oh my god. I'm trying to stand in a line formation here, but I don't actually have the space available to do that. That's 100 force gems. We have a switch here, but I don't know what pressing that is going to do. Oh, we must have more switches as we continue on. Is that right? Maybe we'll have one here as well, somewhere. Oh, great! Now I get to waste my time doing this. Uh, right, well, we'll see what's in these pots. Apparently we stepped on some sort of switch, I don't know. Didn't even really see that switch, to be honest with you. Can you go away, please? Alright. And we've solved something, apparently. Oh, don't go down there again. I was thinking... Ugh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I wonder what's in the chest. Maybe if I fall down here again, I will see what's in that chest, but... Otherwise, I think I've been in there enough by now. The worst thing is Shadow Link here taunting me. So I'm just going to ignore him for now. Got a big bomb, so I'll... Take this key and maybe get out of here. No, pick it up, please. Open the door and get away from that crap. Shadow Link returns with a big bomb. My favourite. So we'll just have to try and unlock the door, most likely. There we go, that was awfully difficult. Hold on. How How is it possible that we enter through this door? I mean, we can see where that's going into. So how is it that we enter that and come into here? I don't understand. Is this TARDIS? I mean, what? Anyway. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I didn't think that I could possibly overthink the game, but whatever. Push that out of the way. And head through here. I think I can see, yeah. I was able to see where we would end up. I don't know what pressing that button before was doing though. I remember when we had a button before that was on the ground and we pressed it and it didn't seem to achieve anything and I thought, well, we'll have more buttons to press down as we continue, but that didn't end up being the case. Like, there wasn't a puzzle that required us to put down multiple or press down multiple buttons, so I still don't really know what happened there. I'll let this bomb explode in case I end up 
in an open area. There we go. That was a good decision, because that bomb has very good range to it. What? So we've ended up here, but... Am I missing something? Oh, there's another door here. I can't remember which door I came from, so... Okay, it must have been... We must want to go this way, is that right? Yes. Go and hit the switch. Because we ended up at a dead end in the other spots, so... Great. It's my favourite skeleton, the one that actually throws bones at you. I really do not like this one. <laughs> that um, formation change there actually worked really poorly in my favour. Or very much not in my favour. Just waiting for the bomb. There we go, and we'll go and open this chest, I suppose. Ah, container. I will take that. That is effectively full health. That's the main benefit of it. I don't really need the extra hearts, to be honest with you. Open this chest, and we'll go back inside over here. Of course, keeping in mind the entire time I'm trying to avoid the bombs, so... Oh yeah, I didn't end up getting that chest from before. Probably wasn't anything too particularly interesting anyway. Because most people would get that chest, so I can't imagine it being anything too special. Oh, let's press that down. Can you not? Nothing interesting there. Just a bit of a shortcut. So... Okay, I understand the problem here. <laughs> I managed to get the right one first try. I had a feeling that I would... Oh god, can you not? P1 is taking great damage after all. I think we've killed them both, yeah. Well, there you go. One hit was all that it took. Maybe we'll go in the cube formation. Please die, thank you. So he counts as the third one killed. I was thinking that it would be more of a combo, like we'd only get the numbers if we killed them within a short space of each other, but it seems that it's more to do with the ones that we kill in each room. So it's not actually time-based. Good to know. No, wrong. I mean, the diamond would work. Let's try the diamond, because we never use the diamond. That actually achieves nothing. Let's do the uh, square formation. Come on. Can you stop hitting me, please? No. There we go. So we're going to need a bomb at some point. As you can obviously see. And a moon pearl as well, apparently. That's fine. And a key. <laughs> we need a number of things at this point. I don't know if the enemies are going to respawn. But... Yeah, what? Where are we going? Is there like a... A tile that I can press? Because you know that from A Link to a Past. Sometimes you'd press a tile and it would open the door, but I'm not seeing one. Generally, they're pretty conspicuous, so... I'm really not too sure. I'm trying to think if I did have an option to get a bomb at some point. I don't think I did, so... I'm really not too sure what to do here. Have I missed something? Oh, there's a door right here. Fuck me, dead. Am I blind or what? God. Kept on going in a circle like, I don't know where to go, but there's like a door right there. What? What is that? Oh, I, I can sort of see what it is now. It's, it's a guy staring straight at me. I thought it was a guy staring to the right. Like, I thought the things that were on his hat or his turban or whatever that is, I thought those were eyes and they were looking to the right. So it looked like this weird squid mushroom thing like I didn't know what it was but anyway it's good hearing this music get music again by the way it sounds like um hold on yeah it's the link to the past uh, dungeon theme I think but it might have been the hold on it might have been exclusive to the dark world I just can't remember all right there we go god Link needs to try out his Tarzan skills. Can you stop, please? It's actually really quite tricky. 
You actually need to just not touch your analog stick, otherwise you're fucked. This is so frustrating. The floor's filled with holes and I can't go anywhere. Which, okay, so we want the Pegasus boots at some point, is basically what that person's saying. Or hinting at, anyway. But, oh, come on! So there's one above and below. God, the worst thing is I have to do this shit again. I'll become a professional, don't worry. I'll become so good at doing this. <sighs> Whatever. It's always good to develop new skills. Okay, so let me just try to memorize like where the good spot is to walk. I think I can see where it is. I hope. Are you kidding me? So maybe, oh I see, maybe this person has also become trapped for the same reason, so... I need to get the Pegasus boots before actually continuing. In this direction is what that's probably telling me, which is bizarre because I... Remember how before I was going, oh I'm such an idiot, I didn't come through this room. Well, I can't actually go through this room yet. That's the worst part, this isn't even... Ugh. Except there's a door right here. Oh no, that's where I came from. Thought I was being an idiot again. Now, had I received a moon pearl in there, this would be no problem at all, but... I don't have a moon pearl, so I'm very confused. And I don't want to use a walkthrough, I really don't. That is the last thing that I want. Do I really need to pull out the walkthrough? Because the thing is, I can't go back. That's the worst part. Alright, walkthrough time. Alright, so... Apparently there's a switch that we push into the wall. As I always do when I look at walkthroughs, I try not to look at too much information, but apparently... If we go over this way, there's something that we can... Oh, this! Well, come on. Can we not? Said, I mean, of course we would stand in a line to do that, but we can't really stand in a line to do that. We don't have enough space. Look. Oh, okay. See, that's amazing. I just, I thought that was just part of the, um, I don't know, design of the area, but not actually something functional. But anyway, there you go. So at this point I'm blind because what I try to do, as I've mentioned in previous parts, is just for my own enjoyment as well, um, look at a walkthrough just far enough to know how to continue and then I work out things from there. Now, is this level 2? Level 1. So maybe we can use this to light some of the torches somehow. Is that right? Oh, there's another thing that we can push. Well, that helps. There we go. It's weird that I was pushing it before, yet it didn't do anything. I don't know. Anyway, we've got a slingshot now. We're continuing into different directions, so we're making progress one way or another. I'm just making use of the multiple links, as I said that I would in the previous videos. Apparently, repeatedly attacking that Gibdo means that we're not harmed by him when he... Oh. See, it sort of looks like there's a flaw, but there isn't. Good to know. Stop, please. Oh my Jesus Christ, can you not? Anyway. But yeah, as I said I would in one of the previous videos, um, stop. <laughs> I keep getting interrupted by this crap, but anyway, um, I should really be making use of all of these links to deal damage to enemies. Because it's kind of stupid to only use one link to do that when I have access to four, if you know what I mean. Got a switch there. Is there anything else of interest? Probably. Let's just... Nope. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, so diamond formation. Please. There we go. So I saw a key fall into that chasm. That's not the chasm we wanted to fall down. Well, never mind. It's right here. Well, that's good. We're making progress, ladies and gentlemen. So we will continue to the locked door, which I believe is this way. 
Or maybe it's not. Oh, that's right, it's at the bottom. That's alright. As long as we get there eventually. Oh, there's one here, and I think there's one down here as well. Is not there? No, there's only one. So we must get the lantern at some point, because we have some unlit torches, which must, must have some sort of... I don't know, importance. We've also got this dark space here. Oh, here we go. No. There we go. So, more Gibdo, I suppose. I don't know if it's just the lighting, but these guys are yellow. I really don't know if it's the lighting or what. So it looks like these guys are turning into... skeletons that go in that other dimension thing, so... Obviously we need the Moon Pearl for this fight, but we don't have it yet. Maybe we'll get it after we kill all these Gibdo. Don't know. Maybe it's locked behind some sort of puzzle. Oh, it's just sitting in a pot, alright. Won't even question it. Anyway. Time to kill some Gibdo. Oh, sorry, Stalfos at this point. Maybe they are technically still Gibdo. They've lost their wrappings. But these guys are just skeletons, they're not mummified. Oh, get up there, get up there. Need these false gems, like now. Square formation, no, wrong formation. This is the one we want. Get them, get them, get them. There we go. I feel like we haven't even gotten very far through this at all. And we've already received 2,000 false gems. Speak English, please, Doom Link, thank you. Anyway. So here we go, we'll pick this up. And there we go. So, oh yes, I was about to say, we didn't use the slingshot, but we did. It was actually essential, so... Obviously my memory does not span much further than five minutes, so... Yeah, great. I don't even think that was even five minutes, so it's obviously worse than that. Anyway, nothing too interesting around here, I don't think. Of course, I'm gonna have a seizure if I look at this frickin' screen any longer, so I'm gonna stop. I guess we'll leave this room. Look at these, or well, look at these pots. Break them more like. Look inside them by breaking them. You know, they do have holes in them. Maybe Link needs a special ability where he can know what's inside of pots so he doesn't break them. Anyway. Is this just for force gems? We already have enough force gems. Here we go. Something that's not just optional. So we have access to the boots here, but before I do that I'll make sure there's nothing else for us to light. Not only because I'm a force gem whore, but also because maybe there's something else that's locked behind that sort of puzzle. Doesn't look like it. Just making sure. No harm in doing that. No harm whatsoever. Alright. Well, the harm is my time, and your time. But I would like to think we have plenty of that. Especially considering some of my uh, parts for this Let's Play have gone on for like almost an hour. I don't think I've actually hit the hour mark yet. I'd prefer not to, to be honest with you. So we'll head up through here. See, we need the leveled up one. How do we get the leveled up one? I haven't found a fairy fountain to like throw it in yet, so... This is annoying. Stop, please, fuck! I have to take my own advice. Don't touch it. It does work. So what do I do once I've received this? Oh right, we break these. That makes sense. Oh. Or not. I thought that I'd solved the fucking mystery for a second. This is awful. Maybe there's something that we can do in here. Oh, there's another... Okay. There we go. So maybe we need the bomb. That must be what we need. So, I would guess that using the lantern will gain access to the bombs, and through bombing these walls we will gain access to a fairy who will give us the level 2 boots. That's my guess. Come on. 
trying to save my time and I instead wasted my time. Oh, it's even easier than that. I don't want the um, level 2 lantern. I'll instead put it in here. Well, I'll, I'll put the other thing in. And by the other thing, I mean the uh, Pegasus boots. At least I believe that this fairy will do that for us. I was expecting her to give us bombs, but maybe not. Maybe that's even later. Take my boots, lady. Alrighty. So now we can indeed traverse those holes from before. Lovely. Roll nice and quickly to save as much time as we can. I would prefer it... Oh, wrong room. I'd prefer it if the uh, parts were as short as, for instance, the last part, but shit! Once again, my very, very short memory is kicking in here. It's quite unbelievable. But anyway. Yeah, so I would like it if all of the parts were as short as the previous part, but they're unfortunately not going to be. Simply because I, even if I do things knowing where I'm going, some levels do take a while. I like how he automatically picked it up. It's kind of great. Anyway. We can't actually roll because I think, yeah, he throws it if we do that. Oh well, I'll be the one to carry it. So we'll go ahead and bring the moon pearl here. So, oh. I was about to say, what do we do? Yeah, well... Quick answer. Quick answer. Alrighty. We don't really need force gems, so we won't go out of our way to pick them up. Alrighty. So what I can actually do is change directions in the middle of it. That's one really good thing that I've learned. Because if I hadn't known that fact, I would have been lost right there, most likely. Actually, let's go ahead and open this. Force gems, whatever. Not important. Head in here. Maybe we'll get the bomb now, I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know what we need to open that big chest, though. I really don't know. You know what? You're dead, mate. It's alright. No, no, please! Fuck, I thought you were going to stay there. I hate you. Anyway. I actually don't know how to open that. I mean, can we open it? No. Alright, so there are bombs. Excellent. Don't bomb yourself, please. There might be something else useful in here, so... Fuck. Stop. So, of course, the worst thing is... Oh, there's the big key. Excellent. So it was actually worthwhile opening the chests. I did not believe that we were going to get the big key in one of these chests. I thought that perhaps it was just going to be a big waste of time. Ouch. Two of them next to each other, my god. That's really quite awful. So we'll just stand here, we should be fine. I don't trust that those have been cancelled. They were cancelled, whatever. So we'll go and open this, see what's inside. A thousand force gems just in case we needed them, seriously. So, interestingly enough, I thought that we had just acquired what we needed to acquire and the bombs weren't important, but as it turned out, what I thought we needed to acquire was not even needed in the first place, so how about that? Blew my mind, game. Blew my mind. Oh yeah, I don't think you can actually bomb these, as we learnt in section... Was it section 3 of level 5? That was just ridiculous. And it's still ridiculous that we can't actually bomb those things, but we can smash ourselves into them. Oh wait. Don't worry guys, I'm blind. That was only in that particular level section, apparently. Whatever. So let's go ahead and pick up those bombs again. Actually, uh, I'll be back in just a moment. And I'm back. I do apologise for that. Anyway, with bombs in hand, I will go and bomb the walls that are over this way. And once again, <laughs> do I, need I demonstrate this again? I mean, is there really? Actually, there is. This time it makes sense. We do have enough space to be walking around in there. But last time it was like TARDIS. Let's just put another one there. I don't trust it. We'll blow them up a little bit faster. Fortunately, we didn't hit ourselves with that. 
That is indeed something to be grateful of. Hold on. Okay, time to waste our time, ladies and gentlemen. Somehow I knew immediately just to press up to go through that. That's the, um, what taught me that? What taught me that? Something taught me that, and I can't remember. Anyway, some of you would know. Pressing up to go into doors. What what taught me that? Because I can't remember, but you would know. Anyway, let's go ahead through here. And then again. <laughs> All that for a heart container. Something we didn't need. Great. The game is insulting me again. It does. Ha it seems to have a habit of doing that. Anyway. Go pick up the bombs. Head into here. And then... More bombing. Which is easily achieved through that. And you can even blow them up without hurting yourself, who would have thought? Stop it, please. Um, I guess I will continue in a line, even though I don't really want to. Maybe let's just not do that at all. We'll just use one link and only one. Stop it, please. Stop it, please. Are they dying in one hit or not? I don't think they are, somehow. They're not. I was correct. Alrighty. I feel like one of them died in one hit there, and then the other one didn't. Okay, now come on! Is there really enough space? Let's look at this. Oh, it's going down, but come on. Anyway. We'll go this way first. I don't know if I want to do that yet. Let's just have a look and see what's down here. Let's sort of... By process of... Yeah, okay. Don't worry. I'll just stop speaking English. Don't worry about me. Hold on, I can... <laughs> I need the Pegasus boots to do that. Because, look, I can't make it. Gravity is a thing. So if I got the Pegasus boots, I'd be fine. But is it worth it? Is it necessary? <sighs> you know what I'll do? I'll... Get the Pegasus Boots as a last resort. If I actually need them, I'll get them. But for now, I'm doing this crap. Here we go. What has that done for me? It's done a lot, actually. Should I have picked the bombs up again? I actually don't know. Are you kidding me? What has that done? Has that done something? What? <laughs> What? Wait. If I send one of them in there, does that... It does. So what I'll do is I'll just hit the right one. No. There we go. No, I didn't want to bring them all to... Shit. Whatever. But that... Hold on, that's not what we want. Because that's going to leave us... In the fucking shit. Okay, hold on. No. Hold on. So we, we want that one. But also... What's the one clo- Oh, I can't see it. That's the problem. Alright. God, this is going to blow my mind. Okay, so... What we'll do... At the risk of killing ourselves... Try to... Uh, ooh! You know another thing I could do? This might not work. Fuck yes! Screw your stupid puzzle. I can just do this. Suck my dick. That's great. Awesome. I was thinking, no, surely I can't outsmart the game like this, and it worked. Fuck yes. That was perfect. Anyway. We'll do the line. We'll do the strong attack. That just kills everything. Alright. Oh, is this the boss? Man, the hardest level section so far has probably been 5-3. And, um, 
just in case I didn't have... <laughs> what's it called? Um, you know, real. Okay, I can't think of the word, but you know what I mean. I have really, really awful memories of fighting the third boss of A Link to the Past, so fighting this is just going to make me want to die. And to start with, it seems that when I attack the tail, it doesn't even do anything, so that's a really, really bad start. So... Do we want the slingshot to hit it? I mean, imagine that. If Deku Seeds could do something, but the sword couldn't... Oh, we want the blue link. Need to pay attention to colour. There we go. What is it now? Red. No, purple. Christ. Can't make up its mind. Stop it. Bring all the links with me. Because why not? There we go. Don't worry, guys. This is actually a lot easier than the one in the Link to the Past. Who would have thought? Stop it. Ugh. There we go. Oh, never mind. I stand corrected. Officially. Oh, God. Stop it. Stop it. Don't send me down here, please. One thing that makes it easier also is the fact that I... I'm not getting sent back to the very beginning of the dungeon every time I fucking fall. Like it was doing. Well, not really the beginning of the dungeon. I don't think it was doing that. In A Link to the Past, however. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the same one each time. Because otherwise I'm going to have a serious problem. Uh, fun fact, when I'm in here, I can't switch the links. I have to do this. So the, the blue one's getting faster, obviously. Stop it, please. Alright. That's the word. PTSD. I have PTSD as a result of my experiences long ago in A Link to the Past with the similar boss. Come on. Now one of them's changed. Okay, there we go. We've killed one of them. Green. I don't really need the Force Gems, but here I am. I wanted to switch links right at the last moment there, but I couldn't. The game's not that, I guess, lenient. Here we go. Stop! Christ! Even this is kind of annoying. God damn it. I'm not like... Just, ooh. Ooh -hoo. Okay, so what's happening here is I'm trying to walk into the fucking... I'm trying to walk away from it, but I'm instead walking into it, and it pushes me down, and therefore that crap happens. God damn it. By the way, um, as far as the Zelda games that I'm going to play, after this one, I'll be playing, uh, god, what's it called? Phantom Hourglass on the Wii U. Never try that before, that's going to be really interesting to try. And then after that, I will do... What's it called? Skyward Sword. And then maybe Twilight Princess HD. And then the Minish Cap. And then all of this business, you know. I really want the Minish Cap to be my next 2D Zelda. Because it's quite similar to this game, visually. Stop, please. Obviously, I could be playing better, but I'm not. There we go. A lot of patience is required, as you can tell. Damn, I need to bring the blue link over here. Look at him, he's, he's spawn trapping me, sort of. It's the general idea of spawn trapping right there. There we go. Please die! I feel like you have more health than the other one. Are you done? Yes. I'm waiting until... Okay, there we go. Because had I turned into Red Link too early there, I would have been launched. Thank fuck for that. Anyway, this style of boss has reoccurred many, many times. Originally in Link to the Past, I think, I don't think any bosses before A Link to the Past were like that. But then you also had this game, then also the Wind Waker boss, the final form of Puppet Cannon? Yes. How do I... 
Do I have to kill myself? Yes. Well, not really kill myself, but commit suicide, technically. Alrighty. And now we will head through here. That writing on those large rocks. It's an ancient tongue. Let's see if I can read it. Seek you the world. Seek you power. Does your soul despise peace and thirst for more? Does your soul cry for destruction and conquest? We grant you power to ruin the world. Oh, thanks. The power of darkness, evil spirit of magic trident. You are the king of darkness. So obviously I was wrong about Ganon being the final boss for this uh, particular level, but anyway. Yes, I would suggest so. The king of darkness is not Vati. Does this mean this wicked man is somewhere in Hyrule plotting even now? Most likely. We must hurry indeed, but what have we acquired through this? Anything? I don't know. Let's just continue. Oh, so there is a maiden here. Okay, that's good. I was a bit worried there for a second. Alrighty. We'll see what colour this will be. Purple. Link, you've come to my aid. You came to this pyramid of no return just to rescue me? Oh, thank you, Link. Princess Zelda, is this true? So she's still in the clutches of those creatures? My sisters, show yourself, please. Is that all of them? I think it is. Maybe there's seven. I don't know. They're making it look as if there are... Only six. So maybe there are only six. We'll work together to find Princess Zelda. Let our six hearts be one. Now let us call to her. Ah, Link, is that you? And the Shrine Maidens. You're all safe, I'm so relieved. Link, I'm in a Tower of Winds. Great. This is no longer the tranquil road to the realm of the heavens. Varty's underlings have turned it into a frozen fortress. Hurry, Link. Varty's power grows ever stronger, even as we speak. Well, we'd better get moving. I think I heard the sound of Varty laughing there as well. <laughs> Princess Zelda. The Tower of Winds. Aren't you guys really glad that I'm skipping this text? Because look at this. Do you, do you want to sit through this? Because I don't. And I don't think you do either, so here I am, being really accommodating to you all. Anyway. She's trapped in the Tower of Wind, which has now vanished from Hyrule. A cursed Varty. The princess is in danger. Link, quickly, you must get the last royal jewel and bring back the tower. Is that what they're for? I actually don't know. But anyway. You heroes have crossed Hyrule and gathered three of the jewels. There's only one place left to search. Frozen Hyrule where the power of darkness keeps spring at bay? Okay. The last royal jewel must be there. No matter the cost to us, Princess Zelda must be rescued. Hurry, Link. Well, I'm sure it wouldn't be good if any of you people died. I'm sure that would destroy the balance of something or other. So there are seven. I guess Zelda is the one in the middle, yeah? Okay. So there are six maidens and Princess Zelda, plus that last uh, jewel. And collecting all of the four jewels will gain us access to Zelda, so that's how that works. So when you look at it that way, we're actually quite close to finishing the game. In a way. And here is the final section, I think. Before we go somewhere else, apparently, because there is no space for some other location here on this Hyrule map for level 8 to exist, so I would suggest we go somewhere else for that. But anyway, I thank you all for watching, and uh, this has been part 18 for my Let's Play. It is currently, once again, the 5th of December 2018 as I am recording this, and I will see you guys in part 19 where we take on the first part of level 7, which, ironically enough, is also, for the second time in a row, the same level section title as the level title, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I will see you guys in part 19. And 
I will for now bid you farewell. Bye-bye.